Well, hello guys. Um, there's a lot of people that go to these Marvel movies, I'll tell you that. Um, okay, look, I want to start off this review by saying Hope Van Dyne is awesome. The daughter of Wasp, who is the Wasp in this movie. Um, she's awesome. I think that's expected. I mean, we've seen it. We've all seen it in pretty much all the trailers. So th th there's really an expectation that she will be good. She will be a badass. She will be awesome as she is in the movie. She's great. I like her. So I just want to get that out of the way. Okay. Because we, are, we all already know that before going in the movie. But this movie really does have two major, two major plot lines in the story. Um... The first one of them being Scott um, coming back. Scott sort of reuniting with Hank and Hope uh, in this movie. Um, and th there's a story behind that. There's a story in that because due to the events of Civil War, him joining Cap in the fight against the other Avengers, th there's a, a, a sort of reunion that needs to happen, that, 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 is, that does happen between uh him and 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 Hank and Hope um because you know I don't think they gave him the the green light to do that also um the second one being um Janet Van Dyne we all knew this coming in from the first one and this this movie obviously is a, is more about that okay so I, I I don't want that being sort of a well I hope that's not a spoiler but there is a lot more of that in this movie okay um, there's a lot more of us exploring Janet Van Dyne and the journey or mission that Hope and Hank go on. I also hope that's not a spoiler um, because I kind of expected that going in because of how the first one, how the first one sort of tied into it. Um, but everything with Janet Van Dyne, involving Janet Van Dyne, is done so well. Everything with Janet Van Dyne the mission that Hank and Hope go on, uh, the emotional relationship between... The, the emotional relationship with them uh, concerning Janet Van Dyne, done very well. Every time the movie goes on to it or focuses on it, very emotional, very touching. Also, like I said before, the first sort of plot line that the story follows with Scott, done very well, how he's reconnecting with Hank and Hope. It's very emotional because you know, do the event of Civil War, it's done very well. Those are the two plot lines that, for me, really stood out in the movie that really, that I really enjoyed about the movie. Um, and this movie uh, has some really great comedy, I have to say. This movie, uh, this movie's comedy had me in stitches on more than one occasion, <laughs> specifically in a scene, uh, many scenes actually, but one scene in particular where... I think I'll just call it Scott goes back to school. It was freaking hilarious, and it's and it's and it's that scene and another scene um, involving Scott turning into a female or a woman. Uh, very funny. Um, this movie, I hate to say it, but this movie in some ways, in a lot of ways, was more funny. Made me laugh more than Thor Ragnarok. And if you've seen my review for that movie, I love that movie. I started off hating the movie. Now I love that movie because it was such a fun movie. And watching this movie, I realized, oh, I, I found myself laughing more. Yeah, it's just, it's weird. This movie, ha this movie's jokes hit and landed so much more than really any of the other uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe movies or even shows. Um... I just really liked the comedy. It really made me laugh, and it really entertained me. All right, so Lawrence Fishburne in the movie, who plays Bill Foster, who is known in the comic books as the Goliath. Um, listen, I don't know that much about Bill Foster, Goliath, in the comics. I don't know if the storyline in this movie is the same as the comic books. I don't know. But the storyline in this movie is that they were partners, as is as is uh, sort of hinted at in one of the trailers. I liked Bill Foster. I liked Lawrence Fishburne's performance of Bill Foster. I actually 
weirdly enough, can't imagine anyone else as Bill Foster. Because Bill Foster isn't that much of a popular character concerning Marvel movies. Um, so, I think Lawrence Fishburne was a great choice to play Bill Foster slash Goliath. Um, his character, though, had a arc, I guess you could call it. It wasn't a big arc. It wasn't something meaningful. It was just a subtle arc where he goes from being a little ruthless to being a little bit more sympathetic and that's all I'll say on that um but I have to say in summary that this movie is very entertaining um I like this movie a lot but in <laughs> I'm a bit tired guys because I'm filming this at like 12 30 in the morning um but this movie is very entertaining doesn't offer much in way of surprise. It doesn't make you think about it weeks or days after. It is just a fun movie. It's just a movie that you watch once, that you sit back and relax, and you're like, oh, crap, this is a good movie, but it's just fun. Um, it's just meant to immerse you into the experience when you're watching it, not after watching it. Um, so I really like this movie in that respect. Um... And some might look at this movie and say it didn't offer much, which is alright. It's alright if you say that, but for me, personally, I didn't I, I, I didn't not like the movie because it didn't offer much. I kind of liked it, this movie for not offering much, if you know what I mean. Because after coming off Infinity War, I really... That movie... I was... Th I, I'm still thinking about that movie and how it ended now, to this day. And I don't want to watch another Marvel movie that, that has that effect on me. I love Avengers Infinity War. It is one of my most favorite Marvel movies now. Um, but after watching it, I don't can't, I really kind of don't want to watch another Marvel movie straight after that that has the same effect. I just want to watch an entertaining movie, and this movie gives that. I like this movie because of that. Um, that's it, really, guys. That's, that's it for the movie. Um, Hope Van Dyne was awesome. Scott was great. His him reuniting with our with Hank and Hope was great, um, and the uh, the effect of him joining Cap in the fight in Civil War, the effect that that has on them, very interesting. I liked it. I also liked the 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 family drama. I guess you could say with Hope, Hank, and Janet, very great. Also, also really quick side note, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer as Janet Van Dyne, pretty much the same as the cartoons that I have seen as a kid, like the Ultimate Avengers movies and the Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes. She's the Janet that I've seen the, seen in the cartoons, but never seen in the comics because I've never read them. Um, and Bill Foster was great, um, even though I've never seen him in the cartoons or read him in the comics. Um, and the villain was all right. Yeah, she's not really one of Marvel's best, but she is all right for this movie. And I, like, I don't really root for her, but I understand where she's coming from. Um, but that's my review for Ant-Man and the Wasp. Um, listen, this isn't the type of movie that you go to to expect much. It's just to expect a really entertaining and fun ride. That's pretty much all it is. And if you go in thinking that, you're going to be pleasantly uh, pleased watching the movie. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed the movie. And I will see you in my review for Mission Impossible. <laughs> see you in that review.